With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's discuss the question. Find the equation of the circle whose center is 2 comma minus 3 and uh, which passes through the point of intersection of these two lines that is 3x plus 2y equal to 11 and 2x plus 3y equal to 4. So let's begin with solution of this question. So here in the question center is given as C and its coordinate are 2 comma minus 3 and uh, we have to find the point in point of intersection of these two lines by which this circle passes. So our first equation of line is 3x plus 2y and this is equal to 11 and second equation of line is 2x plus 3y and this is equal to 4. So if we'll take or we can say we will multiply this equation by 2 and this by 3. So to make the coefficient same so this will be 2 into this we will just multiply this equation by 2 and this will by 3 so this will be 2 into 3 that is 6x here will be 2 into 2 that is plus 4y and that will be equal to 2 into 11 so that will be 22 similarly this will be 2 into this 3 this 3 into this 2x so that will be plus 6x and here will be 3 into 3 so that will be plus 9y and that will be equal to 3 into 4 which is this 12 so from here subtracting these two equation we get this as this minus this so minus sign minus sign and here will be minus sign so that will come out to be this will be 0 and this will be 4 minus 9 so that will be minus 5y and this will be equal to 22 minus 12 so that will be 10 only and from here we get value of y that will come out to be 10 upon minus 5 so that will come out to be minus 2 so this is the y coordinate of that point from which the circle passes and if we'll just substitute y equal to minus 2 into any of these two equations so if we'll substitute into this equation then this will be 3x here and this will be plus 2 here will be value of y that is minus 2 and that will be equal to 11 so from here this will be 3x and this will be equal to 11 plus 4 only so that will be 15 so this will be 15 and value of x come out to be 15 upon 3 that will be equal to 5 so basically this is the coordinate x coordinate of the point from which circle is passing so we can say that our point p our point P will be this that is x coordinate is 5 and y coordinate is minus 2 and our center of the circle is already we have that is 2 comma minus 3. So we will just use the distance formula to get the radius of the circle because this CP will act as a radius of the circle as this point passes the circle passes through this point. So we can use distance formula so we can say that CP this will be equal to radius and distance cp this will be equal to by using distance formula we can say that basically our distance formula is x2 minus x1 and here will be whole square and this will be plus y2 minus y1 whole square so if we'll just substitute the values of point c and point p coordinate so this will be x2 minus x1 so this will be 5 minus this 2 so 5 minus 2 whole square here and this will be this minus 2 minus 3 so minus 2 minus of minus 3 and here will be this whole square so from here our cp this will come out to be root of here will be 5 minus 2 that is 3 so 3 square will be 9 and here this will be minus 2 plus 3 so that will be 1 so here will be 1 square which is 1 so from here our radius that is cp this will be equal to root of 10 so if we'll use the general formula to get this circle equation so that general formula is this that is x minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square equal to r square so if we'll just substitute value of alpha beta as the center coordinate and r is the radius. So from here this will be x minus 2 that is 2 is the x coordinate of the center that is from here and this will be plus y minus this minus 3 and here will be whole square and that will be equal to r square which is basically cp square. So that will be root 10 square which is 10. So from here we get this as opening the whole squares. So we get this as x square here will be plus 4 and minus 4x. Similarly, this opening this y plus 3 whole square, so that will come out to be y square, here will be plus 9 and minus, here will be plus 6y and that will be equal to this 10. So, this 9 plus 4 that will be 13 and 13 minus 10, so that will come out to be 3. So, our circle equation finally we can write this as x square, here will be plus y square, this minus 4x, so minus 4x and plus 6y and this 9 plus 4, 13 and 13 minus this 10 on taking this 10 on the left hand side so that will come out to be plus 3 equal to 0 so answer to this question that is required circle equation is given by this equation thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level 
Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.